What's up guys and welcome to episode 14 of the Old Man Sneaks podcast, also known as the worst sneaker support group in the world. <laughs> <laughs> this this is our last dance, basically. This is going to be our, our, our final episode um, on the Old Man Sneaks podcast. Um, don't worry, we, um, we're, we're cooking something new. So all of our five viewers out there um, and listeners out there, <laughs> um, just wait. Um, we're, we're, we're cooking up something and um, we'll probably start announcing it in our, in our Instagram pages uh, in the next few days. Um, cool. Um, and for tonight's guest, uh, it's the, the regulars. I'll start off with uh, Steven Henderson, SE Kicks 5, also known as Mr. Glitter Unicorn Rainbow Guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the unicorn. <laughs> How's it going, man? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, pleasure to be back on the show and uh, talk about sneakers again. Best thing cool. to do on a Friday night. Yep, yep. Um, Next up is Julian Pounce, um, also known as Kicks and Kicks and Craze on Instagram. How's it going, man? Good, man. How are things, guys? Cool, cool. Good, good. Yeah, good, bro. And um, Mr. Always Win the Raffle, um, kicking it with G. <laughs> oh, man, you do that. How's it going, man? <laughs> hey, good. Hey, boys. Always a pleasure to be part of this crew. Um, yeah, can't wait to talk shop. Cool. Good. cool. All right. Well, let's just just start off with the tradition of the show, which is um, showing off our latest pickups. Let's start with Steven. All right. Um, I brought three on deck today. Uh, mm. I'll start off with a faithful. I got the, uh, what are they? Desert Dad. Cements, is it? Yeah. Is it cement threes? No, that that's a collaboration. Uh, yeah. DJ There's Elephant. <laughs> DJ, I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, G yeah. talked me into these. He looked at my computer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't take much. Don't blame me. <laughs> but uh, no. yeah, I liked them when I first saw them drop. Um, but I didn't know I liked them enough to buy them. But all of a sudden, I ended up in my cart and turned up at my door. So you know, they're a nice sneaker. Um, so happy with that one. I like the yeah. uh, I like the hits. Uh, it's almost like like a, a pinkish beigey color on the, the tongue and around the. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah. I think we mentioned it on the other show. Maybe a, a pink lace shop would what would be uh, nice on those. But um, yeah, so I that's number one. Great. I think they're solid. Yeah, they're um, they're nice. I enjoyed wearing them. So that's always good, you know. And you put them on, you actually look down. You're like, oh yeah, they look good. So, cool. well, I felt they looked good. Um, yeah. I thought materials nice, probably could have been a little bit better, but you yeah. get what you get with Jordan Brand, don't you? So that was number one. Yeah. Um, number two was the uh, uplifting pack from a few. Nice. Um, yeah. I uh, jumped onto ASICS at midnight. Was it the Friday night, Saturday morning? <laughs> um, I carted my size 13 quicker than Julian carted his size 13. Um, for two days, go, no, nah, for so two days, I'm going, have you got an email yet? Do you know? He's like, I've got mine. I'm like, I'm going to get cancelled. And then I did, I got cancelled. And I don't know how because I carted mine first and I've, I've seen the screenshots. But lu luckily, uh, these, these sat not in all sizes but lace brisbane had them so I jumped yeah. on those um super happy to pick those up they're a beautiful sneaker again and last but not least um these little beauties rolled in the uh alley cat Ooh, sneaky freaker yeah. sneaker freakers at most alley cats yeah. nice. um, i think as a lot of us may have touched on these may be my sneaker of the year so far yeah. Yeah, same. So, yeah. Definitely. Cool. That's I all that seen I... them in hand yet. I need to see them in hand. But the uh, the biggest pickup. <laughs> the biggest. Oh, you will soon. <laughs> hey. yeah. The yeah, biggest help for you was oh. um at my local. What I go platypus today, and found the uh, the sneaker, <laughs> sneaker freaker stance socks. Uh, stance socks. So I was happy with that. So they'll go with the uh, oh, nice. with yeah. the alley cats and. When it stops raining, because I'm not wearing those. No, <laughs> Anywhere near the rain. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's I think so. that's my uh, pickups. 
It's gonna be raining for the next week, I think. So yeah, definitely in Sydney, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it sucks, especially all the LPGs. Yeah. Hey, and like... everything seems to be swayed of late. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The ones right. that are not supposed to get wet. Far out. Cool. Ah, well, they're right. only sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, JP. What's your LPUs, mate? Okay, so I'm gonna show. I'll go. Not f- the last seventy-two. I'll go five, five <laughs> today. Um, five all... quick ones. <laughs> um, hopefully, you guys haven't repeated today what I'm gonna show. But um, first ones, Crocs. So yep. like Bembry, nice. crocodile color. Yeah. Good for the rain. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, like I was really skeptical. Yeah. Um, definitely go down a size. Um, yeah. They're not as bright as I thought they would be, but they're they're nice. Yeah, oh, I was like, about to say, kind of like I don't know how you'd explain it, but they're not like glowing green. It's just like a, a nice a nice shade. So they do pop yeah. and people look when you walk, even though they're crocs, but um yeah, nice and comfortable. That's why people were looking, were they? the calves um, yeah. <laughs> um so yeah so they're nice um uh it was actually a, a guy locally had some for sale on a bigfoot group and he tried them on once and said they were too big for him so i just grabbed them off him so that was that was a nice pickup didn't have to deal with uh, resellers on that really um so um i'll go with two newer ones um they're all from the same pack so kith recently Okay. I can fit them there. So Kith uh, released flexing uh, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Donald didn't get these, but um, yeah. yes. <laughs> so <laughs> Kith entered the raffle. Um, <laughs> um, they were super, pretty quick to get come from overseas. Um, super nice quality. Um, I would say out of the two, so there's the V2 and V4. Um, I think the V2 is my favorite. Just the colors yeah. pop a bit more. Cyclades. These will be like a good, yeah. like subtle yeah. color. But yeah, the like the suede is amazing. Mm. Inner soles, they've all got the the branding in it. Um, on nice. the back, obviously Kith written on the back. Um, yeah, just plush materials. Like Ronnie Feig smashed it out of at the park with these. Like um, amazing. Um, I wanted the ones that maybe G will show, but um, even like on the, <laughs> the V4s, you've got like a nice like tongue there, which is like the American flag with New Balance on that. Yeah. Same made in the USA. Uh, materials are plush on these ones as well. The pink and purple really pop. Um, come with uh, a couple more laces, the purple and white ones. Um, I'm nice. not sure what the extra laces were on the Mykonos ones, but um, yeah. And they come with like a special box, uh, matching stance socks, um, a, a, like a bag as well. So I'm not sure if all the like if any pairs were dropping outside of Kith, but yeah, amazing. There's no um, use of them dropping outside of no, the kit, though, no. unfortunately. So, so. The, after the raffle, they dropped extra pairs, but I don't know if it was the leftovers on the Kith app. But if it, you guys don't have the Kith app, there weren't any sizes no. available for me at that point in time. Yeah. Okay. And then it went yeah, out I quickly think, as well. So Yeah, I think there were smaller sizes. Um, yeah. Another yeah. Uh, collab here for Kith again. I've been wanting these for a while. Yes. Ah, so yeah. I finally got them. Oh, got uh, it. Uh, yeah, so, so they, they're not the Gel Light 3s because they're like 2K, so stupid prices, but <laughs> Gel Light 5s, recent release last 2021. Yeah. yeah. But amazing, yeah. like quality nice. again. They're knocked out of the park. Yeah. Um, you can see a trend here <laughs> moving away from, <laughs> from Nike a bit. Um, <laughs> Where's the Jordan 1s? <laughs> <laughs> might, might see them on yeah. sale soon. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no Nike um, or Jordan yet. <laughs> yeah, a bit of both. Oh, actually, Nike. I got a lot of um, Air Max ones this month, so I just got these, oh, yeah. which was a good swap. I swapped some Easies for them. Oh, so some Travis there. So, so you got them? Just a uh, pair, nice. pair of beaters. Yeah, <laughs> beaters. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was good. You'll be able to wear those in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> get it in a mailbox. We get <laughs> just to the, the front door to get his next pickup. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the last pair, um, a bit of a grail for some people, for me as well. Um, so Good the goodness. story behind this is yeah, um, yeah. Steve and I are in a Bigfoot group, um, and at lunchtime a guy posted it, and I was just looking at it at the same time, and um, good price worn twice. Um, 
like immaculate with box and everything like looks brand new like really um yeah he said that he camped out for them um even have like nike air in the inside it hasn't worn off and stuff like that so good price um now i'm on the search for the lows um but yeah they're yeah amazing like I gotta yeah get them now you gotta and, get the lows yeah <laughs> just like yeah. um somebody we know <laughs> but yeah so they're my five favorites for the month nice nice solid ones yeah, yeah and nice. must have been G? a struggle old dude for you <laughs> <laughs> oh like mine, like I've, got, or I've got a few that came in hey all at the same time oh it man doesn't, it's it ridiculous doesn't, like doesn't count just fortunate that a lot like level. everything just how many did you win yourself <laughs> <laughs> so she's won all of them. I've, I've won a couple yeah exactly i've won a couple i've won a couple but um the two the two that i that i love out of the the recent lpus um the uh the jordan yeah, yes. hey like the chateau uh mason chateau rouge like these are so good so if you've never seen them in hand like the materials are just ridiculous um and i was f fortunate enough to get like um to win <laughs> three pairs hey so um i i won i won on supply and then um and won on um finesse and yeah my wife won on finesse as well so i'm able to ra a couple of um members from the the sneakerheads group which is awesome um you so i'm glad i was able to do all that end prices though? um <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, I've got to, right? <laughs> yes. Come on, petrol. Petrol's so expensive. Like, so I gotta, <laughs> I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure I got enough money. Plus, I, I love lettuce as well. So you know, I've gotta, <laughs> I've gotta make sure I make enough money. Um, oh. But I got the Daytonas nice. today. Nice. They came in. Um, nice. The V3. Nice. <laughs> uh, Sorry, Donald. Keep uh, reminding me that I lost <laughs> all of my answers. <laughs> yeah, these. Are, these are immaculate right like it was funny because uh donald was saying hey like you know the raffles are on on keith and um yeah try it you know i so i tried all four but then i can't oh no i only tried yeah i only tried for this one actually for this one in number one and um i was uh i was liking the ones more right until i got the <laughs> win email for these ones so then i'm liking these um, <laughs> um but yeah like as jp was saying it's just the way that they packaged it hey like you had the stand nice socks bag. you have the um uh the the sneaker pack um the, yeah the dust bag got three laces on there um yeah it's it's beautiful hey i wanted to wear the i wanted to wear these tomorrow and it's raining so it'll be it'll be a while but those are just the two pickups that i've had and um wife scored the uh yeah. the penny ones last night so i'm i'm cheering hey nice. i can't wait to get yeah. like i'm so excited right. so excited so technically if you know my story i still haven't uh <laughs> i haven't I still haven't bought one myself <laughs> that's true <laughs> <laughs> that helped out with the like okay i'll i'll score one day but yeah that's, that's so those cool. are the two yeah cool Mold. all right i'm gonna try and not repeat what you guys have <laughs> if i can <laughs> um that's why I waited first. Um, <laughs> now he's going through like 18 boxes. <laughs> Are you in the garage? I got this I've one. Done that one. The, um, the Adidas Forum. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice. Um, which is a nice. Valentine's Day one. Oh, yeah. The leather is amazing. And then putting them on feet, really, it's, it's insane. Like, it's really soft. Like, usually... Nice forums are a little bit yeah. harsh on the feet but because of the leather quality on this one it's it's crazy 80 bucks as well so i'm not gonna say no to that one Bargain. yeah yeah that's really good and i just i, I love how um, i love how uh, yeah. subtle the, the yeah. three stripes is on that shoe and the design itself just yeah, a yeah. collaboration pair yeah um so it's got that vibe yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely solid. So for 80 yeah. bucks, man, that's yeah. just such a good deal. I'm not going to say no to that so for 80 bucks. <laughs> and. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have a sense of how to pronounce it. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Speaking of not saying no to anything, I got this one as well, which is the uh, infrared force. Um, I only joined a few raffles because yeah. I wasn't really trying hard for them. And this is actually the first time that I've seen it up, up close really 
they're all right, I guess. But Just yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them yeah. yet or if I'm gonna RA someone with it. I haven't decided yet. So maybe, maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. But yeah, cool. So those are. Yeah, those are the only two that that is worth showing. I guess <laughs> the other ones are, are the same. I I got an old pickup, which is this one, as well, which I got for a bargain. Yeah, then um, they're really nice. Yeah, nice. Under retail, yeah. so I saw a reseller trying to just get him up, get it off his inventory. I guess so. That's nice. Sell, sold it to me for under retail. So, yeah, cool. All right. Um, I guess I mean we don't have any specific topic because again this is the last dance i guess <laughs> of, of old man sneaks yeah um one thing that i do notice recently right <laughs> is that um the resale prices hasn't been that much crazy in 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 the recent releases for some reason and some of the the older pairs as well are going down in 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 resale value um i've seen a couple of videos as well discussing the sneaker mm. um market crash and all of that um what do you guys think about that do you think that do you yeah. think that we're on on a downward spiral or is it normalizing i think it's a good thing hey like i think i think it's it's definitely a result of covid right like all the manufacturing <laughs> and all that sorts of stuff um but we're just spoiled for choice at the moment i don't know if if i'm the only one feeling this but i feel like i'm just spoiled for choice hey like like every every time that I'm going through my Instagram feed, there's there's at least three shoes releasing on the same day, or four shoes releasing on the weekend. Like you're just spoiled for choice. So for me, like it's always been like you know if I miss out on a raffle, it's cool. Let's move on to the next one. But now it's kind of like, man, I don't I don't want to hop on every single raffle because I don't want to get stuck with all the shoes coming through and stuff. <laughs> but now it's kind of like if. <laughs> you no, know, it's kind of like you've got a, yeah, you, you, you're very, yeah. As I was saying, you're you're sport for choice, and um, I don't know, it's a good thing. Like walking into sneaker stores and seeing some of the pairs that, you know, if in another period, like would probably sell out real quick. Like I'm still yeah. seeing, I'm still seeing the Desert Elephant, right? And I know not a lot of people wanted them and they're sleeping, but I mean, like after a week or so, everyone was just like trying to trying to cop them, right? Because they're starting to see that more and more people were getting them. I guess it's just FOMO as well. Like everyone's like, oh man, I want to get on that. I want to get on that train kind of thing. Um, but yeah, like it was good. It was good yesterday just going into sneaker stores and just seeing some like really awesome pairs and like really, really trying to stop. Well, I stopped myself from buying some knowing that I had a few coming in. But yeah, I think um, I think it's a good thing for us in a I sense. I think um, yeah. Horizons are starting to be open in in australia like on even the local guys you know we've only got a, a small scene that we interact with instagram or facebook but people are showing away from just going straight down that that jordan track or that night track and they're <clears throat> they're um yeah. they're opening to to new balance and to asics and to, um sogni and the rest you know so we've got like is that there's more opportunity to go out and buy sneakers than i feel we've ever had and you're right like collab pairs are just sitting on these yeah. on sites you know like the a few pairs you know they're just they're just there you can go and get them you can go get them now and they've been out for like a week and a half <clears throat> but the other thing are, are the the disposable income's not there like you mentioned before you know fuel prices is i don't know i've had like two dollars thirty a litre for some petrol and then bought my 19 dollar lettuce <laughs> like mm. how do you go and afford these, these <laughs> kids sitting there with you know, most of them were there any young kids that are that are reselling, you know, early twenties or whatnot. They've got all this stock that they were sitting up on, but no one's buying it now. So Yeah, even it's gotta slow even down. Pairs like yeah. uh I think I walked past Nike the other day and the Heritage were just sitting, the Jordan ones and um like yeah. I um I yeah. walked at a store and you we've got dunks on the shelf and people aren't buying them. Like the laser blue um dunk highs, like in the past they would have just on the day of the release would have sold um a couple of other pairs and people are yeah. just following like that resale like they look at StockX and go hey i'm not going to make any money on it i'm just going to leave it which is great for us um but i kind of feel that mid-year is usually a bit of a slump um in different countries they have like obviously they have different tax periods yeah i know us they have their tax season a bit earlier than us so i kind of feel that it's kind of indicates around when people get money so 
Um, but yeah, Australia pr- petrol prices going up. America, different things happen. A lot of pairs we get are really delayed at the moment. Um, in store, some pairs like mm. Valentine's Day pairs are just being released, <laughs> and like overseas when the Halloween yeah. got dropped like six months late, stuff like that. I think that's really affecting the market. Yeah. And as G said, like we're getting so spoiled at the moment for like all these delayed pairs. Yeah, and. Like, I'm not entering every single raffle because I'm like, fuck, I don't need another 20 pairs this month. Um, <laughs> and I, yeah, and I might like them, but other people might not. And if I can't, like, if I decide I want to sell them later, that I just don't have pairs <laughs> piled up like higher than I have. So I kind of feel that a lot of yeah. people were like, as we are all doing, is like res- restraining a bit from entering every single raffle unless it's something we really love, which, which is a good thing. Yeah, I think the strategy of like joining every raffle that you can is not going to work anymore. Because like you said, we end up winning a lot of them. Like I'm getting sigh of reliefs when, when, I, <laughs> when I get an email that is an L. Like, oh, thank God I didn't win that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I- Which is a reflection on me because I, I tried to join everything like you guys were saying. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to not do that anymore. Um, but yeah, for some for some weird reason, some of the pairs that I've been monitoring as well have went down in prices, yep. and I'm hoping that it continues trending down. Um, but I don't know. Is it is it also a case of like getting flooded with? Is it just a backlog of, of releases, or are we really getting flooded nowadays with 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 a lot of releases? Like the dunks are just there's just so many. Yeah. Like I can't even keep track of all the dunks that came out. Um, in the past two months. Yeah, I think it's just a bit of a bit of both. Hey, like the dunks, the five fifties, the forum lows, all the all the low cut seventies slash eighties like basketball shoe are all coming out because of vintage fashion, right? Like all the all the kids, that's what's trending. That's what they want. That's what's being pumped out and pushed out. Um, you know, I've got I, I have mates at the start of the year who've been asking me, hey, <laughs> can you help me get some pandas? All right, sorry, I didn't mean to mention that, but um can you get help me get some pandas like where can i get them all that sorts of stuff and then you know suddenly i'm just saying hey like enter this raffle enter this raffle and now they're like (laughs) they're picking up two pairs and they're telling me can you go find room and i'm like okay i'll do my best so like yeah so i've got a few pairs of like from my mates just sitting here because i'm trying to i'm trying to just move them to to other people right um but yeah it's just saturating that I guess that kind of that silhouette is saturating the market because that's what's in at the moment. And I don't know, yeah, don't know what the longevity is with those with those pairs. Um, but man, there's some pretty awesome colorways coming out. Like every time I see any like pastels and like <laughs> neutral colors, I'm like it. I'm just <laughs> them and telling myself I don't need them, but really in my head I want them kind of thing, right? Yeah. Um, there's a lot it's of a bit of uh, it's a bit of column A, column B in a sense. releasing soon and um yeah it's just like how, when where do you stop right <laughs> they look so similar like the, there's one i think it was like the midas gold but it was yeah, kind of yeah. like with the burgundy as well like it's got extra colors like opposites and it's like well yeah. i've already got one why do i need like something yeah. that looks so similar right exactly the same yeah 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 right yeah yeah it's like the inverted dunks that are coming out, I think, in a couple of months' time, right? So instead of the white, instead of the white, majority yeah. white, black, it's majority black with the white tick, right? So, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's getting crazy. But you know what? Like, I know a lot of people are hating on it. I don't know a lot of people are hating on, like, I'm seeing, I'm seeing pandas, I'm seeing dunks everywhere. It's good. It Man, is I good. I love seeing that stuff, right? I'm, for, I love the community seeing, I love, all that we're getting more yeah, sneakers out yeah, there and we can absolutely. all enjoy them. And then we're like, hey, what's, what's happening why why is this happening have the brands just finally decided or realized that hey australia is moving forward and we are giving them more stock so we will see sneakers sit yeah. which will kill the resale market the same side because yeah, exactly. they can't buy it all up because we've got more than what we need and people can walk into a shop in three four weeks after release and, and yeah. pick up a sneaker so yeah but yet still yeah absolutely I think there's a lot of buyers as well who would like still hate on a couple of pairs, but yeah. you know, <laughs> if lettuce is 19 bucks, you don't have to buy it. Stupid Do you know what I mean? Like, if you don't like it, still don't like buy being it. limited and like how hard is it still to get foam runners? Like, literally, <laughs> I've tried like 
I think last month <laughs> overseas, I entered like one raffle. Yeah, I think it was true. for the Onyx over <laughs> like it was in Europe drop, and because they still send over to Australia, and I think I entered like 30, 30 different raffles once each time, yeah. and I still took an L. Like literally, like that's all I want. I want some foam runners for retail. <laughs> oh, it's, but yeah, the. I think they're re-releasing yeah, in yeah. August as well. The, like, the, there's a lot of like easy yeah. re-releases. The prices are definitely the, they happening. are dropping down. Like, you used to, you used to buy slides, and slides were like what three fifty, which is kind of stupid for a slide. But yeah. now, like, you're looking and they're like two hundred now. Even for like Onyx, which are like yeah. a black color, like two hundred is yeah. getting in the right direction. But yeah, uh, still a mm -hmm. lot of money for some slides. Yeah. Well, even the yeah. Crocs, right? Like the second batch is a lot. Yeah cheaper than the first one the first one we're selling for like 700 i think i saw for, the for the yeah i think i ones. saw those in size 13 for like over, in my size uh, like 1500 bucks like for the first drop yeah yeah, oh, yeah. at some point yeah but now you can get them for yeah. like 200 or something which is yeah. which is not bad because it's including shipping from hal it's it's 200 yeah. already yeah, as well right. so it, it, it's a, it's yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got these crocs one for one. like eighty bucks. Um, it's one of one. You can throw oh, that he, in the bonfire. <laughs> like, no one else. Yeah, I can see you with the staple pigeon ones with the big pigeon foot on the front. <laughs> Every time I wear these, like during like during carnivals and sports carnivals, man, the kids go nuts. Look, oh, where'd you get them? speaking of clogs right that's that's a new trend yeah. happening um have you guys seen all these clogs releases say that converse the new balance converse new balance, new balance nice. adidas, nike announced one they're today all, they're all adidas. adidas as well yeah 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 <laughs> they're all jumping yeah. on board huh but yeah that, the, the new balance and, ones look amazing and the jordan ones with like the booty that you put your foot into first and then you put it in that's kind of yeah. cool so you don't need to wear socks yeah, yeah. Don't mind that. That one is available now. Oh, yeah, one eighty. I think so. I'm, I'm trying hard <laughs> not, not to get one. Not to. <laughs> also, the Converse one. Um, the Converse one is really good <laughs> as well. Um, the crater uh, material yep. one. Yeah. But it looks like there's gonna be a lot of that going on because even the luxury brands are coming up with with clogs like Dior, um, Balenciaga as well. Yeah. I think. Um, so yeah. Mm. Yeah, of supply and demand. Right? Yeah. So it's the next trend. You know, that's, do you, that's what's do you guys think it's like started off because it. of like obviously Kanye and yeah. Salehi Bembry. Um, I feel that if Bembry didn't bring out a croc, I think that that's kind of like pushed the the, the envelope a bit, and so all these other brands are going, hey, like they are popular, like, let's jump on the bandwagon sort of thing. But do you reckon like the croc market is big in the US? Yeah, like that's. And then we're just the flow on effect, so we just don't see it. Yeah, there's but, only like one person that I know of that wears black <laughs> black Crocs around. Um, but but it's still an uncool image, yeah. right? Like wearing Crocs. <laughs> yeah, but uh, like, over there, that's what they wear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. I'm yeah, still cool. That's fashion. That's that, that's fashion in that part of the world. So, and that's where the designers are. That's yeah. where the bigger market is. Yeah, they're gonna but jump on board, the, and we I just still sit down. He, the Salehi one pushed it up a little yeah. bit. Um, obviously, it started with, with the <coughs> runners, which is those yeah. ugly ass <laughs> large uh, clogs you, that Can Kanye created. Yeah. But then, but then I think I don't know. I'm partial because I I, yeah. I have the the Salehi Bembry Crocs <laughs> as well myself. But I think I think that one is a little bit cooler in terms yeah. of like. Did um, any of you guys see the Paris release? How crazy it was for so Bembry went over and. They had a, a release and yeah, the yeah just the videos like there were people yeah, like cuter in the block and all that sort of stuff. Up. So yeah, yeah, for something that's not reselling, it's like it's a good sign for the market, right? Well, what weren't they? It the they were the first uh, croc yeah. that was able to be redesigned. Yeah, so they never let anyone yeah. redesign a croc. Yeah, yeah, they like, created like, a yeah. special mode for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah Post right. Malone and a lot of people like that have mm. their own crocs and. But that that's was one just of the... color and gibbets yeah so. just just yeah. yeah but they're gonna be bringing out more colors yeah so. I, yeah but i even i i remember yeah i remember like i said 2004 2005 when they hit so i was working for rebel at the time while i was uh i was at university and um they came in like the 
the the Crocs the Crocs like salespeople came in and like spoke to managers and you know they gave us some info about like Crocs coming in and stuff and I, I never heard of them. They spoke to me about them being antibacterial, easy to wash, all that sorts of stuff, right? So all all, all of the good things that you wanna you wanna talk to your uh, consumers about. But for I, I guess for the first year when they released, everybody that knew about them were people in a certain age bracket, yeah. right? Like fifty Garden plus issues. year olds who needed yeah. gardening gardening yeah. clogs. And that and that's what they were, right? Like they were like kids didn't even like, you know, take to them at all. I know I knew like yep. parents would buy them for their their toddlers for swimming and going to the beach and all that sorts of stuff. But there'd be like the the toddler age group and then a huge gap it's, it's, and it'll be the 50, 60 year olds. Now it's kind of just like everybody in the middle because it's becoming such a like a, a trend, right? As I was saying earlier, like it's just it's trending like crazy. And I feel like, you know, I see it at school. A lot of the kids um, that don't want to conform yeah. to wearing slides like, you know, your Nikes and your Tommy Hilfiger slides and all that sort of stuff will start coming in or coming in in like, yeah, Crocs. Because they're like, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is better than those. And then next thing you know, the next <laughs> Mufti day, or no, the, the next like swimming carnival, it's just everyone. Pretty sure even Crocs. chefs like, are wearing yeah. Crocs now, huh? Yeah, it's nuts. Crocs, yeah. Yeah, because they're, they're really? comfortable and like the knives can't cut through it <laughs> if they drop down on it. So they're kind of like yeah. safety still. So. Oh. Yeah. 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 And they're very grippy as well when it comes to like wet floors. So I'm guessing you guys yeah. are all up to that trend <laughs> with big crocs and clogs and everything. You're about to like start paying your toenails <laughs> to see through and you know. <laughs> they got unicorn gibbets, man. Yeah, they, they have rainbows and glitters. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm running out of I'm, for I'm still in not phone, able so to actually like... physically buy one and give it to my daughter yet. So when I when I jump over that hurdle, then I might be able to get some of my yeah, own. Yeah, choose. But... <laughs> yeah, I'll, All right. Yeah. Going back to the going back to that flooded market thing, um, you guys and I, I think it goes it goes for everyone, right? Like obviously G will always win raffles and JP will always <laughs> win raffles based on his statistics. Um, but I find that even I am winning a lot of raffles as well, and 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 I've been I've, I've been uh, I've been horrible with raffles last year. Do you think that's because there's not a lot of people jumping onto the raffle? um releases anymore as well and 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 maybe resellers are starting to back off. <laughs> well i just love the fact that you're blaming me now that you're winning right, it's got to come down to expandable <laughs> cash like if you don't have the cash you can't just chuck in for raffles all the time like and it obviously COVID's affected it house yeah. prices have gone up people are paying more on their mortgages like you know whether the consumer that's buying our size sneaker is usually older um You've got to you've got to have that money to be able to buy it, don't you? Yeah, but I think resellers are backing off a little yeah. bit, maybe, or the number. The yeah, because they don't have somebody resellers. to buy their product anymore. Yeah. So yeah. what's the point of stocking up on, on a full size yeah. rather than you know another Jordan One when they can't offload? Like that photo today with all those Jordan Fives, yeah. like. Yeah. yeah, and they're ugly yeah, too. Yeah, like, they're gonna, like Jordan Fives aren't popular like, anymore unless it's an OG <laughs> colorway, and still they're sitting so. They just, they just sit, don't they? Those Jordan fives yeah, on yeah, sneakers, exactly. are just all those pastel colors. Like, <clears throat> you know what sells nowadays? The, <clears throat> yeah. Those GR Jordan ones, the the non OGs. Yeah. The Jordan one lows and and mids. I think for some reason. I think yeah, lows. People just want to wear lows now, don't they? Yeah. They finally yeah. realize <laughs> that we come from a hot climate. And yeah. Because I just started getting rid of a lot of my lows and, and mids, and usually when you post it, like you can sell it within a day. But you try selling Dunks or or, or Jordan Fives, yeah. it's it's very hard. Like no one's no one's really buying, even if you sell them under retail. Yeah, no one's no one's yeah, going for them anymore, unless they're pandas. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, Jordan Fives are very niche. I think we'll go back like when Last Dance came out and then everyone jumped on the Jordan trend, didn't they? Yeah. Didn't matter what yeah. it was. It was like, I want it, I want it, I want it. And yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah then people have gone, hold on. Yeah. 
they're not the most comfortable shoe to wear all day. Like, yeah, but they're yeah, and well, they've hopefully... got these lows and yeah. I was just gonna say, just like yeah, definitely like um, yeah, you can see the trend happening, right? Um, the only one recently that I've seen that was really hard to get was the military blacks for a lot of people. Um, but yeah, definitely like all the like the threes, like the ones mm. that um, Stephen just showed. Like you can still buy them, which is great. Yeah. Well, do you think that's going to happen for the uh, reimagined nah, Jordan ones? I don't think so. <laughs> you can keep the the ones. Have you seen the the snippets of the no Jordan way. Yes. Four SBs? Yes. Collab. Ah. Uh, yeah. I need both of those. Mm -hmm. the yeah. White yeah. And black. So that's all I want. <laughs> Yeah, but they're they're gonna be comfy because they're SBs, right? So, or like a padded oh, tongue so. could be like our um, yeah. Air Max inspired Jordan fours, like a padded tongue sort of thing, <laughs> and a bit more durable. So I think. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like the neons. Um, yeah. It'll be interesting. Yeah, yeah. I started so, reviewing my. There you go. I was just no, gonna say go again, go like it'll be interesting to see the fire red threes if if they sit or if they'll all like, sell out pretty quickly. Yeah, plus yeah. they're SB as well. They're not yeah. like OG, so maybe. Maybe there's some apprehension there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, but I think I think um, the way that they're marketing is that it's yeah, very yeah, smart yeah. for them to use yeah. that bread colorway. Hey, like, you know, if if you're if you're not too sure about whether this is going to hit the market yeah. running, use use an OG colorway. And everybody that wants a bread four, with, right? Hopefully it's a yeah. and it, oh, oh, hopefully man. it's a tearaway up for as well. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> oh, yeah, be yeah. Sick. <laughs> yeah. 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 The tearaway yeah, upper as well. Yeah. Show. Just like the one. Remember the uh, the Still, Jordan One yeah. highs. The yeah. SB, the LA Chicago yeah. ones. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Still, those. I like that stuff. Like, a lot of people Paris one. just want that OG, but when they bring out those cool collabs where it, it, it changes, or it, that's what like when we went to that uh, TKS at Brizzy when um, JP came up, the amount of resellers that had no idea about the sneakers, like. They're like, oh, this is cool. I'm like, yeah, have you seen them without this? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. Especially all the SBs. Like, all the SBs have that hidden, because that's what they're for. They're for snake, uh, skating and getting ripped up. And, yeah. And they're like, oh, I didn't even know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, do you even have Instagram? <laughs> yeah, do you even absolutely. have the internet? Like, what do you do? You just buy and sell sneakers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That annoys me. Yeah, like, I mean, it's yeah. weird when you encounter a reseller that's yeah. not knowledgeable with, <laughs> yeah. like, you don't trust them, really. <laughs> Yeah, if you if you don't know your product, yeah. then I'm not trusting yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Speaking of SB, I, I just realized that in terms of like my collection, that's the one that I started cutting off. Um, I, I don't like SBs <laughs> apparently <laughs> as much but, as but I think inter I do. So, but it's interesting. Um, we're few. going back to the like resale price, like the St. Patrick's Day one and the Cherry. Yeah. Um, they're going like. Usually they'd be like yeah. four five hundred dollars. Um, in my size, like now you can get yeah. them for like two sixty two seventy. So it's a good sign. Like you'd think that any SB low in the past would be like crazy prices, but now yeah, they're affordable. Like for a hundred seventy dollars shoe, especially the th yeah the themed ones like the, um, like that Saint Patrick's Day. Yeah. That that would that would you would yeah. think it would go up to five hundred dollars right off the uh, bat. Mm. I think it's like. We know there's going to be seven more drops in two weeks. Like the amount of drops and what SBs are probably going on to nearly their third year or just dunks, second or third year of yep. being highly popular. Like, yeah. It's got to come to an end. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Even the um, My Son Chateau yeah. Rouge um, Jordan 2s, they, they're they quite an easy cop. Like obviously <laughs> JP won that for me, but. <laughs> there, yeah, there, so there has been cop. some rest no there has some uh restock yeah, on the nike dropping. website like if i didn't cop anything i would have i would have caught it there as well yeah, yeah that was surprising so that's surprising i don't know maybe maybe resellers are starting to back off and then more and more just the sneaker heads are, are being nike's like, done that with a few to... a few now like drop extra stock after the drop yeah. maybe they can see you know that that's their way because they all yeah. they were going we're going to combat the bots and we're going to do this we're going to do that and... or so, maybe there's really know. something wrong in their raffle in the first place yeah. if mm. you think about it right because the amount of people joining and the lag that you get and the delays that you get and then suddenly 
after a few after an hour or two then there's there's a restock so i think it's probably or maybe it was it was we'll, we'll try and weed out the people that didn't want it because people that really wanted the product will come back and look again like how many times do you go back even though you <laughs> knew that your size was gone you go back yeah just to open it just to look at the box sprayed <laughs> out again you know, yeah. yeah it's still not there I, I doubt Nike has, <laughs> yeah. has something like that in place, though, in terms of oh, like technology that that's exactly what they're doing. I don't I don't think so. I I, I would attribute it more to a full yeah, system. Well, against. I didn't even get an L email yeah. for that. Yeah. Like, well, <laughs> yeah. It was like... It, it, was, it was like the uh, yeah. uh, MX1 Mother Root that came out raffled. a week, uh, week yeah. and a half, two weeks ago. That was a weird drop. I, yeah, like I, I went on and I couldn't, I couldn't get a size, I couldn't cut, so I waited twenty minutes, half an hour. Yep. Then I went into sneakers app, but went into the um, yeah, 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 the still in stock section, yep. not the uh, coming soon. Still in stock section. It was a full size run, and then I picked it up. I was like, yeah, that was crazy. Same for me like, as well. Yeah, I don't know. Mine Obviously, was a lot smoother wrong as with well. this. Like I wasn't. I wasn't really going hard for it, but then since it was yeah. available, yeah, I might as well get it then. So, <laughs> it's just like walking in a store and then, and then just, <laughs> just <laughs> seeing them. <laughs> no, but I like them because of the, the Joe Fresh good similarities as well. Yeah. Like I really like that that combination. I was impressed yeah. with Joe Fresh yeah. good, so that's why I, I copped that one. But yeah, I mean, there's a, there's yeah. a lot of pairs that I've copped that I shouldn't have, <laughs> I know, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why i'm saying like i feel like it's a lot easier now like last year I, I couldn't do that like i couldn't win raffles i couldn't just go in and look for a restock or uh, even simple yeah. collaborations with other brands you can't get you, you just can't like even if they're asics or yeah Saucony, it's it's yeah. hard to get so something has changed i feel yeah i think i think for me I think for me, I love I love the the period where you're at at mm -hmm. the moment, Donald. Because like you're saying, like you know, you haven't been doing yeah. it for for so long, but now you're starting. I was in that period one time, right? The first three years of me just starting <laughs> up, I'm just like, I I need every single shoe, like I need every single shoe. And then I started to figure out, yeah. um, I guess the silhouettes and the styles that I actually liked, and started to filter out all the stuff that I didn't donated sold it for under retail whatever it was and started to get the shoes yeah, now that yeah. i actually know yeah. will get away um that i'll on feet you know I'll, I'll i'll play basketball on concrete with jordan fives and sixes and my sevens and stuff right like i'm not afraid to do that um so yeah so i'm just yeah i, I love it. it's refreshing to me it's refreshing to me like hearing <laughs> you like yeah i cop I caught like 20, 25 <laughs> pairs like the last two weeks. It's, it's that's, the best. That's far off as well. <laughs> Donald, he's sleeping, on the, he's sleeping on the sofa yet? <laughs> it, was, it was last Sorry. financial year. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I wish I could put that on the business. But <laughs> <laughs> as an expense, like uniform. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. No, I'm still that's, not sleeping on the I couch. think we're like, all like at that, that stage where and it's a good stage to be with sneakers is yeah. what do I like? Yeah. Not what do I, yeah. what can I cop? It's what do I like? What do I want to put on feet? What makes me feel good? Yeah. You know, like, like I've gone, the ASICs for me is just, that's, that's it at the moment. It's so comfortable. Yeah. And I'd rather that than a pair. Yeah. I slipped a pair of dunks on to go to the shop today. And I'm like, <laughs> what, did, what did I buy these for? But yeah, they look cool, but you wear them and the wearability of them is, yeah. I don't know. I'll just, yeah, go and find the cheapest pair of ASICs I can and put those back on feet. And you, you feel better, I think, like when you've got a comfortable pair of shoes on. But if, if, even the cheapest pair of ASICs, even the cheapest pair of GRs are so like awesome. Like, so I've, got this, really, I've got this really pair good, of, right? uh, so, of uh, GT2s you know, burnt in my head at the moment that mm -hmm. Donald sent me on, uh, on <laughs> yeah, Instagram. <I> was... <laughs> and I'm, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> my fingers. I'm just, I just want to go by them, and I just. I, can't. I was <laughs> goading him to get it, like specifically. I sent him a message. But when have you seen a butter colorway on an A6? Yeah, oh, That's a, that, that don't was my tell question. Anybody. <laughs> Mate, they're they're absolutely gorgeous, and you know when you put them in your cart and you get out of the website and you go back into the same link and then you put them in your cart again and I've done and that about eighteen times. Just saying, you left something in the cart. I show you. I show you that. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> But no, you, you're yeah. right. Like that, yeah. that quality makes you want it, doesn't it? Like you're like, oh, just I can... yeah. But then you're That's like, the no, I'm good. it's not common, man. You should, you should get them. But you, yeah. oh, oh, hold on, guys. I just need to use my phone for a moment. <laughs> I guess you, you know that the quality's in them, though. Where when yeah. you see other brands and you're like, oh, I like it, yeah. and it turns up, and you, you you're slightly disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. But. One thing that I noticed, speaking of quality, yeah. right? Like my Jordan 2 Amar Manier have Your a different JP. aging, have a different age cracked oh, leather really? between the two pairs. One seems more cracked than the other. <coughs> like thinking almost that like maybe the, the right pair is is is, is fake. Yeah, the, the, the main <laughs> thing is the <laughs> left one. Right. It's, it's a bit man. From yeah. China, man. It's from China. <laughs> Could um, be something like that as well. But yeah, yeah. The, the, it, it was... Obviously, it's a different cut in the length yeah. of that that leather. I'm guessing, or no, maybe that side no, of the leather was sat on by someone in the factory. <laughs> yeah, one was one was made on Tuesday, and one was made on Friday afternoon. Yeah, yeah, right. I think JP is the only one um, familiar with that factory yeah. variation thing because that went on. Like, remember when I posted something about the um, um, the New Balance protection pack um, made in China and made in Vietnam? There is a variation between two factories, but then someone messaged me on Instagram saying that, oh, what you got is fake. So we went on for a few days and then trying to get a refund, but we went back to StockX saying, oh, we have this new proof that this is fake, blah, 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 blah. And then at the end of it all, like we found <clears throat> one main difference. Yeah. To, well, at least no one has confirmed it officially, but between the two of us, we, we pretty much confirmed that if you shine a black light on the tag of a New Balance sneakers, you'll see the N logo um, shine back through. Um, his didn't. His was very dim. Yeah. Um, and mine was like consistent across mm -hmm. the board, even the made in mm. China pair. Um, and then he even himself flip flopped and said like, "Yeah, maybe yeah. yours is legit, and, mm -hmm. and mine is fake." And then the way it all ended is like he got yeah. a refund from PayPal. So PayPal sided with him, yep. not with not not StockX. He couldn't get yeah, a cool. refund from StockX. Yeah, and PayPal gave him right. his money back. So maybe yeah, when I buy StockX, I pay, always use PayPal. Pay yeah. So every single pair of now. That's why you got so many. He puts in a <laughs> puts in a dispute. Yeah. He keeps getting his money back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know that PayPal was an option for StockX. I should have, I should have, I'm going to start doing it. Not that I'm, I haven't th thought of buying anything from StockX in the, for the moment. So. <laughs> a bit of a yeah. shadow over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Plus I'm doing the, uh, the, the G method of collecting, which is trying to just go for retail um, when you can. Or just, so, yeah. But let's. Yeah, oh, look. just 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 wait for Jesus. It's been working to for me, and I, I have no assist. issues with it. I love it, but um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do it. You, you guys are the same size anyway. <laughs> I think I, you know what? I think that's the difference between. But, but the, <laughs> yeah, that's the other yeah. thing as well. That's why I overcop. Honestly, like every retail money. assist from G. Like I got double of this. You want one? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but like. <laughs> Yeah, it's all my fault again. It's my fault again. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm so scared to meet Donald's wife, like, again. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, she, like, my, my wife knows, like, she, she loves what I do. Like, she loves my passion for sneakers. So whenever I ask her if she can help me out, she'll do it. And she, more often than not, she's winning. And I don't know how she does it. I mean, she copped me. So, you know, um, <laughs> that's probably the... The her best thing for <laughs> the last like eighteen years is like meeting me. Um, just, but... just imagine if you Tinder and that was around when you were in. Give it a see what it just oh. <laughs> That's a win. That's a win. That's a win. 
<laughs> so I, <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it's just it's just been awesome to be able to like very very fortunate to be able to cop pairs. And when I when I started when I started collecting, I was able to meet a lot of people uh, in the sneaker scene that had the same you know same I guess you know belief values that I did, and we just clicked really really well. And those guys started assisting me like in my first two three years of collecting. So hence why I'm just like, man, you know what? Like pay it forward in a sense. And that's pretty much the reason why I keep like going for raffles because I know I'm going to be able to assist somebody, right? So I'm not too worried about whether, you know, I'll triple up or, or whatever. You it guys is, have got that shoe size for that. To just move them along. And there's always going to be somebody. Yeah, exactly. Exactly it. Yeah, exactly. We've got the shoe size for it, right? So yeah, so just taking advantage of that. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, I think, it's been um, awesome. Like for me, if if I don't, I, I guess I probably don't go as hard into trying to win raffles as as you guys do. I, I'm not allowed to look at my screen as much. Um, but if I miss a sneaker, there's one coming out next week. There's one coming out in two months' time. And let's, if I went, oh, yeah. do you guys remember that sneaker you missed out with? Yeah, you missed out on on February 2021. You'd be like, no. Nah. But if it was the month after, you'd be like, damn, I missed yeah. that. I've got to get it now. It's just a distant memory that you don't really care about. Like. I think there's a, yeah. like, that, that's the good thing. Is all yeah. they're always producing more right. sneakers. And most of the time, like Jordans, like they just change the color blocking, like change <clears> one thing, and it's like, well, do I need two red Jordans right next to each other that look so similar? Um, that has no heritage behind it, has no like sentimental value. So um, there always yeah. be a difference for like things like OG colors, but um, like I don't need a fluoro, another fluoro, <laughs> yeah. greeny yellow with cracked leather. You know, like. <laughs> the, oh, yeah. the, the, the the bolt one <laughs> yeah the visionaries where, <laughs> where this time last year it would have been a, a sold out yeah. in-store raffle at culture kick yeah last year i entered yeah. all jordan yeah. ones and i think i got all of them yeah, except for like the j balvins like from overseas mm -hmm. like it was and yes yeah, dumb yeah well i think there's it's gonna be there's still gonna be a few yeah. drops coming i think that everyone will be going for like yeah. travis scott low um the white and yeah. brown one will come out next month so and then so yeah. is it today they announced there's yeah. gonna be a travis mm. scott dior collab yeah mm. but the price no tag pitches, on that would be yeah would be ridiculous so i don't think <clears> i'll <throat> go for something yeah i won't i won't be going for it at all <laughs> but uh somebody will but i wonder if that'll bring up <laughs> You'll have a look at the screen. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get my wife. <laughs> He's gonna look at the screen. And they're preparing and packaging but, it for him right there. <laughs> but even now, like, how long can like the Travis Scott resale stay around? Obviously, the OG pairs are gonna bring value. But if they keep dropping four, six, ten pairs of them, it's like the off whites, mm. isn't it? Like that first collection, you know, it's yeah. up top tier and now yeah. it's like oh, do i even want it yeah, people yeah. think twice about entering for it because like, I, I don't really want it before they wanted it because it was so limited i think there's a little bit of yeah. fatigue setting in as well <clears throat> yeah. with everyone because if you keep bombarding them with releases obviously yeah. you, you get tired a little bit like the travis scott trainers as well yeah they're selling yeah. for under retail now i mean they're they're, they're very easy to get um they're still limited because um, they're collab and i don't think they're gonna reuse that that model or those changes yeah. on a gr release at all so i mean that's that's pretty much it with that one but yeah, yeah. i don't know hopefully the the white and brown one it'll, it'll be interesting to right see if like obviously the the frag one. trav like lows is still quite expensive it'll be interesting to see if just the travis ones end up being similar price or if they're gonna drop down a bit and be a thousand dollars rather than two thousand dollars yeah it's still well, the air it's, max it's one is still still achievable i mean if, even if you go yeah, yeah mean, the second not, gold ones aren't too bad priced yeah mm -hmm. yeah don't, <laughs> don't say that because that's the only one that i'm missing <laughs> have a look have a look after the show donald jump on jump on the stock x i'll send yeah. you a link i'll slide in those DMs at least. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then use use paypal then have, uh, make sure you use dispute. paypal mate like <laughs> yeah maybe i should do that 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. You just gotta be just cautious when you get a from, fake you know, account. Yeah. And just, just show that the fake and just like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then show that yeah. as like, this is what I got from StockX. Get people to refund you and then. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's just, I wonder if people would do that. Like, obviously, yeah. somebody would, but. Well, obviously, yeah. PayPal starts seeing rise of like claims like that. Yeah. And yeah. They, they'd start investigating, but. But yeah, but even yeah. StockX is laying off staff as well. So I think the sneaker market in general really is starting down. to slow down. Yeah. But I kind of feel hopefully that just getting get, rid of the people who are doing mistakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like all these people who are passing all the fakes and and then all of a sudden, like, obviously they've got the decent stuff there now. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, just think how big it would have, would have become and the yeah. amount of sneakers yeah. that go through and like you can't all be that one ebay chick can you you know she, she legit checks every yeah. pair on my instagram every time i scroll down she's legit but the other thing is pair. as well i know StockX definitely has a like authentication in in, in melbourne right and they've got one in the yeah. US, at least one in i think there's one or two in the us yep. so i wonder how many other countries they've got the same thing and really you don't need an authentication center in every single like country right Like eBay's strategy, I think, is like they hire um yeah. they hire contractors that the, that does the legit checking for them. So they don't have like yeah. one center; they have a bunch of people that will do legit checks, send it to them, and then and then get it through. So yeah, that's what I noticed. I've, I've sold a couple of pairs on on eBay, okay. and they're going they're going yeah. to different addresses each time to get legit checked. Yeah, but. I, mean, um, I don't know. Yeah. It's still hard to do legit check because I guess at some point those those fake the the, the guys that manufacture fakes will yeah. will catch up. But there is so many yeah. like pairs oh, yeah. like of sneakers coming out. It's like how how can they keep up with <coughs> fakes for every single one, right? How do you yeah yeah? Plus the volume of transactions. If you think about it, like I think someone did the map mm. for StockX, like when they claim that they have this amount of volume um going through per day and the calculation basically is like for you to do a legit check pair uh per pair it's, it's about like a few yeah. seconds and that's yeah. just not gonna work like, like if you even if you ba balance it out with multiple legit checks yeah. it's just not gonna work so they're they're the volume of the sneakers coming through and then the number of um legit checkers yeah, yeah. It, they don't add up that's what they're saying like yeah like things are not gonna get checked properly all the time so yeah and that's so like, yeah, like, I mean, yeah the amount of you know imagine how many uh panda dunks have gone through stock x yeah they probably just <laughs> yep next next us next you know and there's that and, many and the call is not terrible on on right. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah that yeah, yeah. that's it like there's probably like yeah. variations and, within and the I'm sure these factory. people are buying them <laughs> from StockX and yeah. just throwing them straight on feed and not even like paying attention to it, right? So they're just like throwing them on feed and thrashing them because they're jumping on that yeah. TikTok yeah. sort of. Pan Everybody's got pandas, so I should have pandas. Yeah, so. exactly. Well, it comes back to, uh, yeah. Yeah. you know, where can I buy them? Where can I buy the product from? And I think a lot of people like two years ago probably or maybe a little, little bit longer, but not as many people were buying off StockX. Now, I talk to people that they don't even own Jordans yeah. and they type in Google and what's the first ad that yeah. comes up is StockX. It Stock takes X. them straight to it. So is that also changed the resale market? StockX. You know, people yeah. are just, they're selling through StockX as well. Like it's not, you know, remember you'd get a drop and then within three seconds of a drop, it was 6,000 Facebook posts. Yeah sneakers coming in or facebook marketplace flooded mm. and now it's cool. i think i think that's also google being too smart because they they search for where there are stocks and mm. in terms of like looking for uh sneakers with stocks oh i don't know because i put in a sneaker and it stockings. takes me there there's never a size 13 in <laughs> Because sometimes they show subtype yeah. if it's still available <laughs> on subtype or mm. they, they'll show up there if the pair is available on up there. But then other than that, it's going to default to resell platform so like StockX or Goat. So, yeah. Yeah. 
crazy. Mm. Who knows what's next? For the v- virtual shoes, culture, and well, game, and <laughs> All right, yeah, NFTs. <laughs> There's already a million buying you, JP. I'll have all those NFTs. <laughs> Well, hopefully it, it goes back <laughs> to what you guys were saying, the, the better times in terms of like sneaker collecting and sneaker culture, which is before the last dance. We're in, I think the less it's a lot people, easier to get sneakers. The less people in the culture makes for a better culture in a, in a sense. Like you, you're more passionate. Yeah. You can yeah. do it's It's yeah, it's more defined, right? Like you can define it better. Yeah. Than what it is currently um because you know the sneaker culture in australia isn't it's so young it's 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 completely different to what it is over in japan in china in europe like completely different um but you know we, we have that opportunity to make a name for ourselves in a sense when it comes to sneaker culture um just as long as you know we're not that australia isn't too associated with just panda dunks everywhere um but, you know, I just, yeah. you feel like I think, now I think with, we've got like our, the, our uh, stores, like, go on. We're starting to get these collaborations with like ASICs and New Balance and, and you know, they're, they're nice sneakers. And we're starting to build our culture that way because we can't really have, we're not going to have an up there collab at night. You know, and we, we, we're building this Australian sneaker community, which is kind of rising up. Yeah. Well, the, and, um, yeah. Like, mm. Yeah. And I, yeah, think, yeah. I think that's amazing. It's it's all, it's all thanks to Sneaker Freaker, right? Like it's all it's Sneaker Freaker and well, all of the clubs that they've done in the past. And now, like you know, you 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 have your your stores in Perth, like Howl and up there store doing theirs. I think that's amazing, right? Like I, it's it's awesome that you know in 2015 I was able to get a pair of Reeboks that was collabed with an Australian brand, Howl, right? So the highs and lows, and it was part yeah. of their. 25th anniversary well recent um, pack so i was like this is awesome i was like, just gonna say yeah, that, i never saw Nike that before seeing, so that is uh, really awesome. with passport store for their dunks so they are reaching out to local stores as well yeah. which is really cool mm. yeah yeah i think it, it's it's a good direction for yeah, the sneaker awesome. scene i think it's um and you you know you, you look at instagram like we're so big aren't we like we're, you know I can only follow what goes on in Melbourne through social media, but the size of the, these drops and you know the the the, um, the level of interaction they're getting from them is, is it's great to see. And then the spread worldwide, like hopefully it, we 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 develop our own yeah. niche market in this 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 sneaker culture and it comes like uniquely Australian. Yeah, our own so, identity really as a yeah. sneaker culture basically and i like that the the releases coming out are <coughs> yeah. australian as well like um mm, yeah the one coming out for up there um the nike sb yeah. dunk is like uniquely australian as well so yeah i think they should keep doing that like yeah. more ties into yeah. actual australian australian culture not just australian boutique because that doesn't mean right. anything that much really yeah. you know what i mean like so it's good it's good <laughs> I'm excited because we can actually jump yeah, on hopefully, and hopefully being a, yeah, hopefully being Australian companies. Yeah, uh, that's the good thing like, about it. They have enough stock for people who want them, right? Yeah. 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 Hopefully Australian first. Yeah. Right. Like they should st- sell yeah. Australia first. Yeah. Ship It'd be good if like Australia they can see first. your shipping address. These in-store raffles are a bit. Like they they're good, but like, you know you go in in store and actually give the sneaker to someone. But it's hard for the rest of us that are outside well, of the major met- metropolitan areas. We miss well, the above on, on the GT twos for um, up there, but, they launched yeah. to just Australia locally first, and then was it the next day or a couple of days later they had the rest mm. like a global drop, and then yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was a week. Yeah, <clears throat> but that's like you know they um, yeah the global release the a few <laughs> pairs like to get them on a, a worldwide mm. you know it's the same thing backwards you know from um yeah. germany to here but you know just the way that i think asics is doing it is really good at the moment where they are giving that local market first and then they're having that wider release i think especially with the the, the up there gt2s like they sold out locally or in that that initial drop 
and then the, the word spread and they sold out everywhere else again yeah. like that's huge it's a gt2 like you know yeah yeah it's not and, even and, a high-end high-tech yeah. runner yeah. in their lineup so <laughs> yeah it's a little I bit guess. expensive though <laughs> but you got free socks yeah yeah For... but it's not quite end you yeah <laughs> That's you true. get a get a pair off end for three hundred and twenty bucks if you. Yeah, yeah. Still <laughs> cheaper than a Jordan or a Nike collab. Really. It so is. It I'm is. Not, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Yeah. Yeah. And the quality is there, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, definitely. I'm happy to pay that price if I know the quality is there. Um, and that's, and that's the thing with with you know a6 and Saucony and new balance is that you know like you were saying uh donald like you you, you yeah. know that when you get that in hand you're going to be happy with it no matter what right like there's no discrepancy in craftsmanship because you know you've had a pair before and it's going to be the same style of craftsmanship that you're going to get same level i should say um yeah it's just it's i just find it really astonishing that there are brands like that yeah who can invest in quality control <clears throat> Yet the bigger brands out there are just struggling to do that, think, like to get consistency. So if you know, still, if you're that, new, I, I, new, yeah, new Balance, when they turn up, Donald, you, you see them straight away and you're like, there's something different. If that yeah. was a pair of Jordan 3s. Do you reckon they would have brought the same attention from you? Or you would have just went, yeah, they're slightly different, but we're used to seeing discrepancies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you... You know what, like, you're making a really good point now mm. have you noticed that they're changing the boxes now as well like they're changing the boxes of the jordan sneakers right so they're giving it more of that that luxury touch in a sense right so like when you're when you're getting a box from like um ethan like you see the box yeah <laughs> just the box itself i'm already just i'm salivating already and then, it's like i know as soon as i open that box it's gonna be amazing right and it's like the um the i don't know if you guys have any pair of the jordans where they use like um uh it was like the boxes are kind of like um, oh yeah like a whole heap of like yeah the animated um, pictures or like the, all black uh, and white they, photos all put together the I think animal instinct the animal yeah. the what do they call the, the yeah, jordan three yeah i'm trying to think oh, let me grab right. one yeah. yeah yeah they're like that yeah yeah and i think the First the one that boxes. they released that was um, the Union, the Union ones, right? The Union, the wings pair ones. Those, <laughs> those boxes, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on. The, 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 the wings called emergency. Yeah, yeah. Like the wings. With yeah. the winged pairs. I think these are yeah, from yeah, the, right, um, right, the Jordan right. Three. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah Dark or something. And it's, yeah. Right. Patchwork was like that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Retro yeah, 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 Jordan yeah. Fives. But that's what I mean, like. Uh, in the past, it was it was always an OG box from JB brand or something new, which is just a different color like Nike box. Then all of a sudden, the last three years, they started to put like a lot more graphics on them and stuff. And and you're more excited. It, it, it looks yeah. awesome. Like honestly, so, sometimes like, I see the I'm, boxes and I'm just like, some man. of my uh, yeah, absolutely. Like I want boxes. Like, um, I'm just looking at the Candyland one. The whole thing's like a board game. Um, the Jack a lantern one, it's like a cool yeah. uh, lantern and stuff on a slide out box. But they change it up for the thing and um the nerf lows, the actual box pops yeah. out to have like camp dunking on this. I haven't done it yet because I gotta keep it. But you know, just that kind of stuff. And I guess I've been I've got yeah, shoe boxes cool. underneath my phone, like well, well, Hello box. Kitty box, but that's awesome. Yeah. Um the conversation well, the, the conversation uh, box from the new Rouge yeah. twos are yeah, amazing. Like you open great. it up and you got all artwork and you got like artwork of Jordan mm. in the bottom, like yeah. dunking and stuff. Like it's sweet. Like this sh yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> yeah, and then it carries through to the shoe, right? That's <clears> that's the best thing about the three of it, right? It just carries through. Which is amazing, and I, I love that stuff. So, <coughs> whenever you're getting boxes like that, you know yeah. already, like, man, like it's going to be quality, right? And it's it's good to see that Jordan Brand is starting to do that. But way before, way before what they're doing now, you've had like you know Saucony and New Balance and every you're other still, brand like I've doing still that got first. So Jordan you just Eleven know boxes with you this know is the gonna ball be out and the like that's that's an experience like the space yeah. jam box from 2016 yeah. that's yeah that's cool that's next level you know with oh 
I love that yeah. box. Like, that's one of the best <clears throat> boxes there is for a sneaker. Like, if you got that amount of detail yeah. on every pair, which obviously they can't. Mm. Like, but, Additional yeah. cost, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. It does draw you. Guys... It's like it's the experience, isn't it? Yeah. What do you guys think the other brands need to yeah. do in terms of like getting that hype going for them? Um, like I know ASICS is gaining a little bit of traction. New Balance was building up for the last two years. I think New Balance is not even niche anymore. Like they're really. Popular. I think if, if they jumped onto some Instagram influencers like <laughs> Man Sneaks, sticking yeah. it with G, Kicks and K's, you know, got those three blokes on board, you know. I reckon. <laughs> Yeah, I reckon they could well. flip it up and make something yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think like they, yeah. they probably need to push like Nike Nike don't have to, Jordan brand don't have to. I don't know. But you've got to push yeah. the product out there. No, they don't. To see it. Like, you know, people want to see it and they want to go, Oh, I love that. We like like I said, yeah. I think I said, well, you never you never see a new balance ad or and you know, I well, I don't. You know, you'll you might see you don't see many ads anymore anyway. But the biggest companies, yeah. Nike, Jordan, they're always going to show up. But how how do yeah, brands but, push it? Yeah. Do you think it's just a case of like because Nike and Jordan obviously has that nostalgia hold on people, I guess because mm. you, you you relate to it from from when you yeah. were young. Um, I don't, I know I know we we've, we've also worn some brands like New Balance when we were young. Or, yeah at adidas when we were young but why don't why do you think you don't have that kind of connection yeah. um, but you think like it... you go back to like the macklemore song the wing song yeah. where it goes about that and he's got that line the air bubble i think the air bubble for all of us as a child you didn't matter what knife shoe you put on if it had an air bubble in it you just sit there on the floor and poke it like <laughs> who cares what the teacher was talking about you had these air bubbles in your shoe that you know and there was always <laughs> like some bodies that you wanted to go and pop just to hear yeah, that <laughs> yeah, like, but at one point uh reebok pumps are like that right like yeah. they're probably even more popular back in the day but why can't they capitalize yeah with with, with nostalgia the same way that an air yeah. max air yeah. bubble does mm. well it's it's a hundred percent advertising isn't it it's a hundred percent advertising and and nike do that real well like it's a it's a consumer product and you know you you put you put the world's best athlete, the world's yeah, best athlete yeah, behind that swoosh, and it's going to sell. And that's the reason why you've got the the, the artists yeah. and the yeah. musicians Look at like all Jack trying Harlow to with the New Balance um, now. Yeah. And do the some collabs, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So playing one on one, um, like, yeah, yeah. And I think I think other brands are starting to slowly like get to that stage as well. But you know, at the same time, like for me, I'm like, man, still cop. Just, just keep away from it a little bit so then i can continue to collect those uh non, yeah, non, non jv brands and and still be happy with them and stuff but you know i think just more exposure more exposure mm. with the right with yeah. the right people I jordan doesn't need to sell anything happen. and like yeah. jordan's jordan right you see it, jordan you see the silhouette and you're ready oh absolutely absolutely that's that's probably like i'm pretty sure that's probably the reason why a lot of at like nba stars <laughs> won't go the Jordan path because when they look at that shoe, yeah. like <clears throat> it's not my shoe, that's Jordan's shoe. Do you know what I mean? Like they're not going to associate yeah. those mellows with mellow. They see that Jordan. That's what you think a lot like, of them like they Mello, go the Kobe yeah, route. It's Jordan's shoe. Kobe's you know just seen yeah, as that so, hard working, yeah. slug it out no matter what, never wanted to be anything special. But just like, <laughs> you put on a pair of Jordans, you got to perform. Yeah. You got to, you know. <laughs> you yeah. got to live up to it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, absolutely right it's, it's it's like when you when you go to social basketball games you see yeah, the, yeah. you see the guy that come in and then, he, 11, and then you're like, watching oh, the whole game because he kid. sat on the bench see, uh, so he's, he's wearing some fresh kicks <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but it's true. i think i think hopefully you know i think for one part of it it's like yeah man like like let's Let's get more exposure for the other brands so that means that we can get more pairs we can get more collabs there's more out there that we can choose from but at the same time sometimes like i, I feel a little bit like um protective yeah. 
but but in also terms of the niche, that little niche in um, new market, artistic of, directors. You know, those, so you've got those obviously collectors. Joe Freshgood and you've got Teddy Santos, yeah. Um, yeah. Jerry Lorenzo and Adidas. So yeah. I feel that now they've got those guys now, like yeah. Kawhi Leonard's now Joe Freshgood has a collab. And so they're going to collab yep. within themselves with these athletes and it's going to be like really cool. I think I think we're just like warming up with these new, with these other brands. Um, and obviously like Saucony is yeah. always try to like yeah. go with these like small boutique, like these Instagrammers and, and YouTubers yeah. and obviously um, yep. uh, Trinidad James with his pair. So it'd be like cool to see like these other brands coming across here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, I was, so, I was yeah. so annoyed that we we didn't get any yeah, of those, like those famous Simpson ones sneakers stuff, yeah, with the sick. YouTuber collabs. Like they had some really awesome yeah. pairs, man. Like, but that's um, you know that that's just the size of our country, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, that was so. Like, you, you look at the size of it. Yeah. Like, True. Oh, of course, I can't say. Like, you walk into Nike now. And look at the sneakers on the shelf. Like I know my local night because I'm a smaller area. The sneakers on the shelf are rubbish, like rubbish. It's like bottom tier because that's what they. And you sit there and you go, you hear the salesman and they're talking up this product and you're like, but you know there's better out there. Yeah. And you feel sorry for the consumer that doesn't know and is not aware of it. And I'm sure like <laughs> yeah. if I go down yeah. down the road to Brizzy, yep, there's nicer shoes on on the shelf. And we're just, yeah. you know, just talking your running shoes and whatnot because it's that next year. But that's in a, a, a massive company in a, in this country. Like, how are we ever going to expect to have? Yeah. Like, I don't know where my local like, so many stories. I don't even think I've got one. You know, how, how am I ever going to get yeah. that level of um, of collab on a, on a shelf? Yeah. You know this as well that it's yeah. mainly yeah, the American, true. the inherently American ones, right? Like New Balance is American, Nike is American, Jordan <coughs> is American, Adidas is German, right? And yeah. like all the other brands, so like Asics yeah. is Japanese, really. Uh, yeah. But the ones that are really popular in terms of like collaboration and then getting yeah. that mainstream appeal are usually the American <laughs> brands. Are we being brainwashed as well? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I think the way that like New Balance is with, with people like, like Jack Harlow, because you look at what Kanye's done for Adidas, like that's what the kids are looking at. We grew up watching Jordan wear Jordans and basketball was, was a massive part of, I think everybody growing up in the eighties and nineties knew about basketball where today, yeah. you know, it's there, but most people don't know what shoes are on feet. Yeah. And yeah. that was, you know, that that's what influenced the culture that it is and yeah. now it's they've got to push it differently don't they yeah to have that well, it, it, well, back in our change. day as well there's there's not a lot of yeah. things competing for our attention you know what i mean yeah like basketball is popular because there's not there's yeah. not a lot of other options than, than than watching basketball and then maybe playing video games and then you 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 go into the details mm. a bit like the shoes the model of the shoes mm. and everything and that's like nowadays yeah. um everyone is competing for everyone's attention like even if you watch basketball you're not gonna pay the same level of yeah. attention that we used to pay mm. when, when we were in the 90s i guess so yeah and then yeah. speaking of new balance as well i think they have the mm. dream team of in terms of like designers at the moment like mm. teddy santis heading up the the made in USA um, division. They have Salehi Bembry. They have, um, yeah. yeah, like mm. those guys, like Joe Fresh Goods. Um, mm -hmm. So, I think there's gonna be a lot, a lot of good stuff coming out of that. And yeah, a yeah, lot. More. There's a lot more Teddy Santis coming out. Um, so even if there's there's a lot more, cause <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, nah, I skipped the white yeah. one actually. Donald's getting older. They have that small card, right? <laughs> That, that comes with the uh, Teddy Santis 990s, yeah. and they're showing all the the released and unreleased yeah. models uh, coming out. So, yeah, cool. All right, Is there many um, too many sneakers. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's been it's it's been it's been a <laughs> it's been a fun time 
discussing or chatting with you guys in terms of sneakers and and i'm happy that you that you guys yeah. gave me the time for the final episode uh of of old man sneaks hopefully for for the listeners we we have like jp said we're cooking something um there's something new coming out of this and like you'll see more of us and not just old man sneaks it's not gonna be just under the banner of old man sneaks um we're, we're doing something as a collective um which i think makes sense because everyone makes the show not not just one person so <laughs> if you've gone this far into into listening to us uh hopefully you can stay tuned for what's coming in the future <laughs> Oh. Hey, I uh, I was uh, oh, we'll perusing the channel. Friends. I, don't know, but... I think there's about 444 subscribers. Like, it, they're yeah, building, yeah. building momentum. I think when I first jumped on, I was about four. Yeah, I saw that too. I think I got a top, I got a top ten badge coming in the mail for one of the first. <laughs> Cool. You guys have anything uh, to promote or to say? Any parting words, Stephen? It's been fun. I um like generally look forward to to coming on and, and talking sneakers. Like I've got limited knowledge to what sneakers are, and we all bring something to the the table. I just love coming and um hearing everybody's passion, like you know. And I just think what this series has shown. Yeah. in a small number of episodes is um how diverse everybody is in in in, in our own collecting and in, in our own uh, likes and wants but um i think we've also rubbed off the broader horizons of sneaker collection as well uh, we all know one certain guy that's that's mm -hmm. walking down the streets of melbourne mm -hmm. and new balance yeah. these days and we never <laughs> thought that would have happened but um you know i think that that's where that's where it's been great I think we've, we're, we're all opening each other's eyes and, um, <laughs> and just, yeah, enjoying the passion that is sneakers. Yeah. I was just telling Steven earlier before you guys came in that um, we have one listener who messaged me that he said, um, I think I've been listening to you guys talk so much that I ended up <laughs> a bid for uh, the A6 Beauty of Im Imperfection. Um, he's trying to get one right now. So it's just good. <laughs> That means we, we have we've influenced at least one person. Yeah. <laughs> Asics uh, Sports Style AU, come on the show. Yeah, yeah. We don't have any sponsors, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully in the new show yeah. we can have one. But <laughs> yeah. what about you, JP? Um, I'm just looking forward to seeing what's to come. Um, just I someone sent me free. To one of my friends, oh. and he says like the Power Rangers, like we're all going to combine and. And and become like one strong like powerhouse. So yeah, yeah it's gonna be. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be a really good thing. And um, yeah, can't wait to see what guests we're gonna have on. <laughs> cool, cool. And kicking it with G. Oh man, you know what? Like, I think that like from from the first interview uh, that we had together, I already knew like I was already clicking like with all of these people, and I think the last. Oh hey, sorry. My little one's just he's saying good night. Night, night. Um, yeah, no. So, so for the past couple of months, like just just meeting all you guys and just like-minded heads, right? And and you know the energy's there every time that we're on all together, and I love that. And um, and I keep harping up on like you know like the buzz after this. Honestly, like always happens. It always happens when I'm with you guys, just talking and stuff. That it's been awesome the past few few months meeting, um, so many different people using you know for, from the Instagram platform, and being able to um, connect in that sense. So I'm excited for what's to come, <laughs> um, and I'm so privileged to be. Uh, Part of the part of the, part of the part, part of the crew, in a sense. Part, part of the uh, Power Rangers crew, in a sense. Every, everybody's everybody's morph suits coming out. Uh, I'll go mail. pink for, uh, before, <laughs> um, No, no, it's 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 been amazing. It's been such a privilege to be um, cool, to be part cool. of this this collective. And for um, everyone yeah, listening, fun. 
Thanks, guys. Um, <coughs> hopefully, we see you again on the next show. Thank you. Um, that Good night, guys. We're cooking. Cheers, guys. Good night. Thank you. See you, guys. <laughs>